All right, we're going to solve this inequality using interval notation as our answer. But before we do that, we will need to solve the actual inequality. So we got this negative 5x plus 45 is greater than 10x plus 75. Now, most of you, I've noticed, prefer having the coefficient be positives. What this means is that we would add 5x to both sides. And the reason for that is because if we subtract 10x from both sides, then we would have a negative 15x. But this one right here is going to give us a positive 15x. Notice we didn't it didn't affect anything else. So everything else stays the same. I've indicated that with the black color and the change has happened in red. Uh, but we would need to subtract the 75 as well from both sides so that we can isolate the x on one side of the inequality. So 45 minus 75 is a negative 30. This is greater than 15x. To solve this one, finally, the last thing we're going to have to do is divide both sides by 15. And we get that x is, well, would be less than negative 2, uh, or negative 2 is greater than x. So either one of these will work. I notice the difference between these two that I've written here is that uh, the side of, that the x is on and the negative 2 is switched, but the inequality is still eating the number, which is negative 2 in both of these. So whether you write it like this, or whether you write it like this here, neither will matter in terms of the inequality. Now with that being said, it did ask for interval notation, which we will want to write. Something that I notice usually helps people out with interval notation is this number line stuff, okay? So if we go from 0 to negative 2, okay, negative 2 is where it's equal. It's not included as part of the solution. So uh, it, it will be a curved bracket, or parentheses, whatever you want to call it, uh, as part of the interval. And since it's not eating the x, it's going to go to the left. And we would use that curved bracket like this. So what this, what this means is that it's going to go all the way to negative 2, but it's going to start at negative infinity like this. And this is our actual interval. Notice that the values start from the farthest left and going to the right, just like you would read norm numbers normally. And what this means as well is that all the values between negative infinity and negative 2 would make this original inequality a true statement. Now, I highly recommend that you go back and check that just to make sure that it's true. You can choose any value to the left of negative 2, you could choose negative 3, negative 4, you could go as far as negative 1 million if you wanted to, or farther. It's not going to matter, just as long as what you find gives you a true statement. If what you find is made a, true, a false statement, then you're going to have to make the arrow go to the right.